What's going on, everybody? Back with another video. Yes, those same three cards are still front because I had an offer on Bo Bichette earlier. But, uh, just haven't taken him down and changed him around yet. So, we're going to go with a little something different today. How many people out there have noticed if you're going on eBay that you see a card graded by PSA mostly? I've seen these on. It could be Beckett or SGC that have like this hologram sticker below the PSA. So it would be like right here. Anybody seen that yet? I'm going to explain what that means, what it is. It's been around for since I think like August or something like that. And I'm going to talk in depth on if I'm going to do it or not and the point behind it and stuff like that. So it's called NBA Diamond. That's the website, nbadiamond.com. It's Mike Baker Authenticated. And you're like, well, who is Mike Baker? Well, Mike Baker, let me see if I can find this again here real quick, because uh, he basically op I was right, opened the doors in 2020 and everything like that. I'm trying to find where his thing was. He talked about where he was with PSA before I don't remember the name um, offhand it says he's the longest serving professional grader and authenticator in the country he has personally graded millions of trading cards and is considered to be the pioneer in a business I, I honestly don't remember the name uh, no no offense to him or to the business or anything like that but uh, it looks like he uh, Worked with the PCGS, which is a coin grading company back in the day. And then he became an employee with PSA for a while there. And, <clears throat> excuse me, he was actually the youngest member, it says, of the senior executive management team for Collectors Universe, the parent company of PSA. So, he has knowledge into it and everything like that. I, I've talked to a few people about this to see what their opinion, so I'm going to get a better focus here, <laughs> was and if they were going to do it and stuff like that. But let's first take a look at the picture that I'm talking about here. So this is your PSA card, and if you look below the PSA, you see that gold little emblem there. It's a diamond, NBA gold diamond. What they're doing, your card's already graded, right? He is now grading it a second time because he believes there's different levels of 10s and 9s and everything else. So, as you can see, this is what it's sold for, 960. These are going for, what, like 700, I believe, or something like that. Uh, originally a PSA 10. So there is some profit into it. No joke. There is some profit in getting your stuff graded like this. So when you see these little things in a certificate, you're like, what the crap is this? Well, at least now you have some general knowledge onto it. They do a 10-point inspection onto it from what I read onto it. And I'm going to try to pull everything up so you guys can see this. All right. I'm going to pull this off here, throw this up. So this is this, their website. Like I said, it's mbadiamond.com. I personally probably will not be doing this, and you'll see why here in a second. So you've got three different levels, silver, gold, and Black. Black is like their top of the line. Think black label of BGS. Gold's next. They could boy Beckett guys. They're grading the silver the lowest. So basically what they're doing is using a 10-point inspection, regrading your card, and you know, that's pretty much it. They're not pulling it out of the case, so I'm kind of really confused on some of it. Um, because as we all know, some of them cards shift over times. And when it shifts over time, you could get, you know, edge wear, stuff like that there. So, this kind of gets me going there. Grading standards, I'm pulling it up now. As you can see, the only thing you can get, you can only submit a 10-level card for to get a black diamond little sticker thing on it. It has to be PSA 10, SGC 10, or BGS 10. Same with all that. You can see they're different. Like, if you send a 10 in, regardless of the company, you either get a silver, gold, or... Uh, black diamond level. Mostly it's based on when I look at this as a centering difference onto it. Um, then you can only get silver and gold down to a PSA 7 through. Okay, they go the whole way down. All right, I was going to say for other stuff. It gives their stuff onto it. You guys can take time, look at it, and read it. Um, I'm not going to go into a 
big old thing. That's their certificate. I'm trying to find. There it is. There's our 10 point inspection. Authenticity, measurement, alterations, centering. Uh, alterations is just kind of funny. Clear and convincing evidence that it can be articulated why a card is altered. Um, don't really get it, but okay. I mean, if you have an altered card, it should probably say that it's been altered onto the label. Just my thing is thinking of people cutting it, erasing part of the freaking auto and stuff like that. Centering, got it. Cornerware, edges, surface, staining. That's where you get it from the gum, basically tobacco from the old stuff. Print defects and overall eye apparel. That's what they're scoring it off of. Ten points. You basically got to go ten for ten to get their black thing, uh, black sticker onto it. So, to me, I mean, it sounds really cool. It does make a value. The card go up. It goes into the collectors themselves onto, uh, are they going to pay for this or not? You know, in recent prices and everything. Sorry, guys. I got the dogs with food so you can hear me throwing something in the bowl. It's what it is. Um, the prices are shown. There is a raise up onto it. So, I just am not sold onto it as of now. It's a good idea, but to me, it's just somebody else regrading my card. We all know that tens all look different and nine fives look different. You can do it off of that there. That's why some do sell better because the people are being really judgy onto it and stuff like that. All right, so here's my question. I want you guys to think right now, how much do you think this membership would cost? Just think about it. We all know what PSA costs. It can be anywhere from ninety nine dollars to two forty nine, but two forty nine you're getting free fit fifteen or free fifteen vouchers with the way you are back in time. Um, back in I, you just mail your stuff in. They don't even charge you memberships unless you're doing bulk, and they stopped that anyhow. So go ahead, guys, think about it. what would you pay for a membership like this? What two three hundred for a year maybe? I'm gonna surprise y'all what it costs. Boom! 500 a year for a silver membership. And you do not get priority turnaround or set registry with that. Gold, 2000 a year. $2,000 a year. Black, diamond, $5,000 a year. What's the difference, you say? When you come down here, silver membership, they're going to give you a voucher. It's going to be 50 submissions of up to $1,000 value. That's it. Thousand dollar value silver membership. After fifty must be submitted at one time. Uh, Twenty dollars per card review after that. Turnaround times varies with demands. Where have we heard that one before? Gold. You could submit two hundred vouchers at three thousand dollar. It's three thousand dollar value. That's what you're getting out of it. I'm sorry. That's the value of the submissions. Okay, so you could submit any cards at any price. I'm sorry. I read that wrong earlier because I was uh, trying to do some math onto it. So you're going to get $3,000 in free submissions. You got to submit, uh, must be submitting lots of 50. So you can do four submissions, 50 cards a piece. No idea the real turnaround times on this either, guys, just so you know. Uh, and then your rate's $15 per card. Priority turnarounds, 20 business days guaranteed. Interesting. So basically a full solid month from the time they get it until they get done graded. So you're probably looking four to six weeks offhand. My guess with mail and time frame, probably close to six. I don't know where they're based out. I'm just using the normal thing, everything on the West Coast. The other one, you get 400 vouchers for paying $5,000. But it's only a $4,000 value because you're paying $10 a time and you're getting them back in 10 days guaranteed. My question is this to everybody here. How many people would want to do something like this? I'm just thinking off the top of my head here. This is a very, very, very expensive packet. Now, you guys see there are some price shifts depending on the color sticker you get put onto it. There's nothing on here saying I can't sit there and say, all right, guys, how many people want to send on this here and get about 20 people onto it we all send in. You know, I'm just using even 10 people. It's 200 bucks a piece. You divide the submissions up by 10, you know, and there you go. 
I, I'm just curious uh, how many people are really going to be interested in doing something like that. There, oh, there are ambassadors down here. Oh. They are buying cards, stuff like that. You guys can check out the website. I, for one, and I know a lot of other people are not huge fans of this at all. Um, will times change? They could. They've been in business, like I said, since August. And I just happened to start seeing stuff popping on eBay. I heard about somebody starting something. Never did the research on it. Saw some eBay listings. and like, why is this going more because of this sticker on here? And, you know, I think it's just, you know, the mentality. Oh, well, this one's graded better than this one because this color sticker and everything else. I myself probably won't end up doing this unless I see things explode. Um, you do get a cooler certificate with each one, too. I mean, if I was to do it... You know, that's a big chunk of money to pay for a membership for a year. Because me, personally, if the cards I have, I'd have to do a $5,000 membership because I wouldn't want to wait 20 business days. I'm just that type of person. But by doing that, you know, then all of a sudden, everybody knows it's $10 a card to mail them in, but, you know, they're just paying me the 10 bucks for the fee onto it. it. It would have to be something that's going to cover it. Um, if I would do something like this for everybody, you know, I might have to charge 11 or $12 a card on something like that, because honestly, that that's an expensive package to get. And to be honest, I don't, 400 submissions. That's a lot. That's a lot. Very lot. I don't know. I was curious, has anybody out there already gotten it yet? I know Charles is real big into grading like me. So Charles, feel free to either email me or put in the comments if you've gotten into this already or not. don't remember where they're located, and I feel really bad. Okay, here we go. Maryland, out of Maryland. I'm guessing that's where this is at down here. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. I mean, it's a good catch if, you know, you were the guy that made the flugel binder up about doing this. Regrading a grading card. To increase the values onto it. So the three on my screen could all be silvers and not even get a gold or a... Man, the, the black sticker I know is probably going to be the hardest thing of all to get. I'm just curious, you know, on opinions onto this and where everybody stands at it. You know, it is a good deal for a membership. It really is. And I think it's where the elite, what they're going to end up saying, I don't want to say this where the elite people are going to go to do this stuff at. But it's more where... The people that have been doing this for a very long time and are looking to flip bigger profits are going to end up doing this to get more value on cards. And now you're going to even see if this even catches on bigger, a bigger increase onto cards as well, too, going across the board to where you're, anything graded has a sticker on. Now you're going to be paying for a lot more money onto it. Uh, it it's really interesting to think about, you know. My my first opinion was I would never do this at all. Never, ever, ever, because I don't see a difference on to it. The more I've sat there and thought about this over probably the more over the last week than anything, if I was to buy raw cards, ESA 10s, right now, just splurge, and got these stickers on to them, you can make a hefty profit, Whether especially if you get some golds back, and even if they're silver, I mean... I guess that means they just stay the same value of the PSA 10, maybe a little bit more, but gold gives you, you know, a big chunk difference. I mean, was it $100 on a $700 card seller? I don't know. So I just figured I'd open it up for discussion onto this. <coughs> Excuse me. And maybe whenever I come live next, if people are on, we'll sit there and talk about it. But guys, do some research onto it. I mean, when I first saw it, I was like, ugh. Man, somebody else just trying to make a dollar on to it. But, you know, if you're going to be one of those guys who have a big membership on to here, that's a hefty chunk. You know, I probably would start out at gold, even though it's 20 business days. Um, but you're going to have to have some killer big cards to make some turnaround on to it. This is not going to be for your really small uh, cards that you're trying to get. Uh, i.e. mid-tiers, stuff like that there. I just don't see it. A lot of people aren't going to get turned, you know, really turned on by it. They're going to be turned off by it. 
But if this catches on and they get slammed, then you're going to start seeing people not being able to pay the memberships on to it. I mean, PSA is affordable, okay? This is really not affordable. The Silver Collector, you never know when you're going to get your stuff back for $500 here. Now you're starting to talk big money, two and $5,000. You know, a lot of people aren't going to be able to afford that. But if you found somebody that had a membership, would you be willing to pay a dollar or two more for what you know the price is to get it graded because you can't come out of pocket for something like that? No, it's an honest question. All right, guys, I hit 15 minutes. I'm going to stop now because that's where I want to pretty much go with it. Please feel free to hit the comments galore with this because I want to read input from everybody else. I really do on this. What you think about and everything. Um, whether you're a small collector, big collector, or flipping, mixture, whatever it may be. Really curious on thoughts on it for people that have been doing this for a while to new collectors as well, too. All right, guys, take care. Have a good week. I'm waiting on UPS of Bowman Draft. Talk to y'all later.